So this is a brand new installation. I just logged in for the first time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to uh, the installed plugins. I'm going to see all the plugins that are active and I'm just going to simply deactivate them. So I've got no other plugins running. Now I'm going to go to add a new plugin. I'm going to search for core tweaks and I'm going to get that installed and activated. Now immediately on the left side menu down at the bottom there's uh, SEO automatic. Just go to the core tweaks menu option and right here you'll see everything that you would normally do manually. Now one thing I do a little differently now that uh, core tweaks is set to, to set it goes slash category slash post name. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to, to just use post name. That's the way we do things now. We should probably change that in the plugin. I do want to add a page for a static sitemap generator plugin that I like to use. I'm not going to create a privacy page. I'm not going to create a contact page. I am going to delete the hello world default post. I'm going to choose to delete the sample comment that WordPress installs. I'm going to make sure the main emails are correct that I want. I'm not going to, I could add a new user if I want to here, but I'm not going to. By default, WordPress names the slug for uh, for your one static page to be about. So I want to change that slug to be home. And I also want to set that to be the front page. And I also want to create a page calling it just simply news to use for blog posts. I can, I can change the tagline right here. I'm going to choose to delete all the links that come in the blog role. I like to enable these. I know that there's no robots file right now. This is kind of a standard robots text file that we include that keeps people out of your admin. And I'm not going to bother with any of the copyright date stuff or the admin login in the footer. I am going to turn on error reporting just to take a quick look. By default on most hosts, this should not be necessary anymore. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm going to hit make the changes. Do note that if you scroll too far and you go into a separate area of uh, deactivate or uh, included plugins, that's not the same as this button right here. So I'm just going to hit make the changes. And bang, everything has been changed. And it did actually tell me that it couldn't delete the blog roll links, but I think that is because these brand new installations of WordPress don't include blog roll links, so we probably need a plugin update. Now, since I chose to create a page for that static sitemap, I'm going to go back to the Core Tweaks page. I want to scroll to the very, very bottom. I want to make sure that the sitemap generator is turned on. And I'm going to hit Set Plugins. That's it. Sitemap generator's on, and I am in business. That's it.